This video looks at the anagram found in the Lesson Activity Toolkit under the Activities. If we want to open the anagram, we need to click on our Gallery tab on the Lesson Activity Toolkit under Activities, and the first one is Anagram. There you will see we have the six different colors. You can either drag it in or double click and that will launch the anagram. What would we use the anagram for? Primarily spelling, but for the introduction of concepts, words to those concepts or topics that we are starting. So we're going to have a look at the example that they give us. I'm going to click on edit. And here we can see that we have three different columns. The words, the clues, and then the picture clues. The simple way of doing this is by double clicking on the word or dragging over the word. As there is no cursor that flashes within the Lesson Activity Toolkit, so it's easier to drag over the whole word and then you can change it to whatever word or subject matter that you're teaching. Again, just drag over it. For the clues, same idea, you click in the clue. A good idea when using images for your clues is to get them before you actually create the anagram. That way you can have the pictures and you can use them. And voila, I have mine. So now what I do is I take it and if you notice, if I put it over the block, it changes to a yellow. That means that it'll suck it in. In goes my atom and now I have a clue. And you can repeat that for all of those underneath. Let's look at the top. We have the password option. Personally, I suggest you don't put a password just in case you forget what that password is. We have the speed and this is used for the timer. As it goes down, we can have fast, medium or slow. We don't even have to have the timer. And the last little button we find here is the remove images. So if we've chosen somebody else's and we want to redo it, we can remove all the images in one go. Now I click OK. Let's have a look at some of the other buttons before I start. On the right hand side, it's a question mark. This is how it explains what I've just explained on how you do an anagram game. We then have the start button and at the bottom we have a clue. So if I click clue, smallest particle C, click start, atom, rearrange it. Then I can either reset or I can go to the next. When I go to the next, I need to click on the clue again if I need to bring it up. Then I can go on and complete this word. One of the things to keep in mind is when you use long words. And you start. You'll notice that the letters get a lot smaller. If you use two words, there'll be a blank circle, but the longer the words, the smaller the letters get and the harder it is for the kids to do. How would we use this? It's up to you. If we have a look, the anagram has five words that can be used. So we could either use one child for all five, or we could bring up five children to do one word each. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Technology Training Academy.